Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Word for Kids. I'm Jamie. And I'm Josh. And we're guiding you through the book of Acts in a series of 20 episodes. Last time, we learned about Jesus telling his apostles that they would receive the Holy Spirit and be his witnesses to the ends of the earth. He was then taken up to heaven before them. Two men in white told them Jesus would come back in the same way. On the day of Pentecost, the apostles were together when a sound like roaring wind filled the house they were in, and tongues of fire came on each of them. They began to speak in other languages, which both amazed and confused the crowd that had gathered. The people realized they could all hear their own language. Some people made fun of them and even thought they were drunk. Peter stood up and spoke to the crowd, telling them that the men were not drunk, but this was the work of the Holy Spirit, which had been foretold through the prophet Joel. He quoted a passage from Joel about things that would happen in the last days, and later explained that Jesus, whom the Jews had crucified, was the Lord and Messiah. Joel had spoken about that. Many of the people who heard this were heartbroken. And they asked, what do we do? Peter told them to repent and be baptized, and they would receive the Holy Spirit. 3,000 people did so. The believers prayed and ate together and gave up their own things to help others in need. And that's where we left off last time. Are you ready for today's adventure? Let's go. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer, at three in the afternoon. It was a part of Jewish custom to go to the temple each day to pray, so this was a normal part of their routine. Now, a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. Because the man could not walk, sadly in those days he was considered unclean and was not even allowed to enter the temple. Most people would have stayed away from him completely and ignored him when they passed by. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter told the man to look at them. The man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. But Peter said, silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, Peter helped the man up, and instantly his feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Can you imagine the scene? A man who had been unable to walk his entire life was not only walking, but jumping and praising God. It's no wonder the people who saw him holding on to Peter and John were astonished. They came running to them in the place that's called Solomon's Colonnade, which was just a walkway in the temple area. When Peter saw this, he said, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness we made this man walk? Right away, Peter makes sure the people know it wasn't by his or John's own power that this man had been healed. Peter continued to scold the people. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. You handed him over to be killed, and you disowned him before Pilate, even though he had decided to let him go. You disowned the Holy and Righteous One. That's another name for Jesus. And you asked for a murderer to be released to you. You killed the author of life. That's yet another name for Jesus. But God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It's Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see. Let's pause right there for today's word of the day. Hello, everybody. Eugene here with another word of the day. Today's word is faith. Faith is believing in something even when you can't see it. Faith. 
The priests and the captain of the temple guard and the Sadducees came up to Peter and John while they were speaking to the people. They were greatly disturbed because the apostles were teaching the people, proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. The religious leaders did not want the apostles spreading the message about Jesus, and many of them also didn't believe that the dead could be raised, so they considered it false teaching when the apostles spoke about it. They seized Peter and John. Because it was evening, they put them in jail until the next day. But many who heard the message believed. So the number of men who believed grew to about 5,000. Even though the Jewish leaders wanted to discredit Peter and John, many of the people who witnessed the miracle of the lame man walking believed their message anyway. The next day, the rulers, the elders, and the teachers of the law met in Jerusalem. They had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them. By what power or what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame and are being asked how he was healed, then know this, you and all the people of Israel, it's by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Peter then quoted from Psalm saying, Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. He went on, salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. When the rulers saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished and took note that they had been with Jesus. But since they could see the man who had been healed standing there with them, there really was nothing they could say. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin while the rulers spoke to each other to try to decide what to do. They knew that everyone in Jerusalem had just seen Peter and John heal the man who had been lame. So they couldn't deny it. But they also did not want them spreading the message of Jesus. They called Peter and John back in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John replied, Which is right in God's eyes, to listen to you or to him? You be the judges. As for us, we cannot stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them more, they let Peter and John go. They couldn't decide how to punish them because all the people were praising God for what happened because the man who was miraculously healed was over 40 years old. And that is where our story ends for today. It's time for the verse to remember. Today's verse is Acts 4.12. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Acts 4.12 I just keep thinking about how amazing it must have been to see this man who had been unable to walk for his entire life walking and jumping and praising God. It's not too surprising that a crowd quickly gathered. But what is even more crazy to me is that the Jewish rulers still did not want the message of Jesus to spread. Caiaphas was among those who Peter and John had to stand before. Now, Caiaphas was the high priest during Jesus's trial. I'm sure he was angry to see that even after having Jesus crucified, his followers grew and grew in number. Yet here we see Peter and John showed so much courage. They stood up to the same leaders who had Jesus killed, knowing that it could happen to them as well. And they chose to listen to God rather than give in to those who wanted them to stop talking about Jesus. And that's something we can use to inspire us to be brave for Jesus too. We can be brave and stand up for what God asks us to do as well, even when it's hard, and even when others try to tell us otherwise. Just like it did for Peter and John and the man who was healed, our faith in Jesus gives us great power too. And that's all the time we have for this episode. We'll see you again soon for another episode of The Word for Kids.